covering the South Bay. Don't mess with IB. Tough talk today from Imperial Beach's mayor, who is fed up with millions of gallons of raw sewage flowing into his community from Tijuana. 670,000 more gallons poured into the U.S. yesterday alone. Tenders reporter Joe Little reveals why the mayor is threatening to sue the U.S. government and not Mexico. This is one of the low points of the Tijuana River estuary. Every time it rains, this road floods, and recently it's been flooding with raw sewage straight from Mexico. It's a problem that may need to be fixed by the next generation. So when you go through... These teenagers have had enough. Even just walking to school, it's just like... You can just smell it. it. makes us look like trash. The Mar Vista chemistry students smell raw sewage. Millions of gallons this year alone, flowing from Mexico into the Tijuana River Valley and Imperial Beach. When it rains, it's coming into our ocean. This part of our beach, the southern part of our beach, over the last 10 years has been closed for a total of three years. Mayor Serge Dedina has also had enough. I'm, I'm sad, angry, frustrated, and uh, that I'm spending all my time working on trying to keep our beaches clean. Tuesday, the mayor announced he's ready to sue the International Boundary and Water Commission. They have consistently allowed flows of toxic waste and toxic sewage into the United States. It's millions of gallons from Tijuana's broken sewage system. A lot of people say the problem is across the border. Why aren't they part of the lawsuit? Um, the Imperial Beach can't sue the, the government of Mexico, although we're going to be looking at, at an aggressive legal strategy. Mayor Dedina says the IBWC is supposed to have infrastructure in place to capture the sewage at the border before it does any damage. It's not rocket science. I think they started doing that in, back in China like 3,000 years ago. Why, why don't we do something about it? The Mar Vista students marched from class to support the mayor and their city. Fix it for them. They realize it's going to be their problem if it's not fixed soon. If we all came together and started to protest like that, we can make a change. In Imperial Beach, Joe Little, 10 News. An IBWC spokesperson spoke with 10 News less than an hour ago. She said the commission is not ignoring Imperial Beach and it is also spending millions of dollars to take concrete steps to fix this problem.